What is up, YouTube? I am back. Um, didn't make a video last week because, frankly, I didn't find anything good. So, I didn't feel it was worth making a video. So, But this week was different. Um, I went to a sale of another ex-Nintendo employee. Um, lady's name was, what was it? What was it? Uh, Yakumi Shimura? Yeah. Yakumi Shimura. Um, people were wondering who the heck, heck is that? Uh, actually, she was the lead designer, lead developer director. for the Ma director for the Mario and Donkey Kong game, Mario versus Donkey Kong games. Um, got a bunch of stuff from her sale, and I'm gonna show you all that right now. Um, the sale was on Saturday. It started at 10 o'clock. Uh, I wasn't the first one there. Somebody had beat me to it, and this guy that was there before me he bought a lot of games um, I didn't get a lot of games actually uh, frankly because most of the games were imports I mean she was Japanese and most of the games were imports so and I don't have um, too many systems that that play the Japanese games you know so I, I, I picked up a few but not, not a lot uh, this guy that um, that, that um, got there before me he, he picked up a crap load of stuff and she wasn't giving the stuff away. I mean, she had games marked at uh, five, eight, eight bucks, ten bucks. So he he paid a lot. Uh, so did I. But I think all the stuff that I got was well worth it. Actually, we went, we we did uh, three trips to the sale because she had it all weekend. I went first, uh, came home, got the kids and the wife. We went back over there, and that was yesterday. And then today we went back and got some more stuff. So. Very fun, uh, nice lady. Um, actually, we the, today we went over there and we took our copies of um, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, and she went ahead and signed them for us. So that was pretty cool of her. And she gave us a poster too, and we had her sign it too. So and that's downstairs. I think, I'm not going to show you because it's kind of big. So, but this was what I picked up on on Saturday when I when I got there the first time. So I picked up a couple of DS games. And I took a chance at this one, uh, my English coach. So I was hoping she had um, my Japanese coach, but she didn't. Then again, why was she? So I also picked up um, Mr. Driller, Drill Spirits, and this was sealed. I picked up a Hey You Pikachu um, Japanese version, and that is almost complete. It's missing the little um, piece that goes around the controller to attach the mic. But it is in excellent condition. All her stuff was uh, in immaculate con uh, condition. All the games looked like they weren't even played, you know. So, all right. Also got a Pokemon Yellow guide, um, mint condition again. All right. What else did I get? I got. She had you know a bunch of stuff, a bunch of plushies. I got a uh, Nintendo Dogs uh, Chocolate Lab here. I got a Nintendogs Black Lab because I actually have a Black Lab. So I got a Gray Yoshi doll. I got a uh, Princess Peach. Uh, what else did I get here? A uh, little surfing Pikachu uh, figure there. Uh, she had a lot of Mario vs. Donkey Kong uh, memorabilia there. Uh, got a little, uh, I don't know what's this little figure there. Mini Mario. Yeah, a little mini Mario there. And picked up some post it notes uh, with uh, Peach, Mario, and uh, Yoshi there. And they say, uh, Who are you? I guess this, that was one of their um, slogans back in the day. Mario Mini Plush here, Mini Mario Plush. So yeah, that was cool. Lots of plushes, lots of cool stuff. Okay. Now this was really cool. Uh, this was a soundtrack to um, Mario vs. Donkey Kong Mini Land Mayhem. And it has a little note on here, and I'll read it real quick. It says, here's your personal copy of the original soundtrack CD for NST's newest title, Mario vs. Donkey Kong Mini Land Mayhem. This music CD is for your personal enjoyment only. The physical disc and the data on it must remain under your control and are not to be given to anyone else or distributed in any way. Thank you for your cooperation. We hope you enjoy the music. So this is a pretty uh, unique item. 
and it's it's uh, I haven't listened to it yet, but there it is. So well, I got one more item to show you that I picked up the first time, and all that came out to sixty bucks with this last item here. Um, I count. I, I told her I'll give you fifty. She counted with fifty-five. So I gave her fifty-five, and she gave me for free this set of uh, Master of Illusion uh, playing cards. So I guess this is a promotional item for the game. But this one item here was was awesome to find. That's just since I, you know, I like the Seattle Mariners and this game. I I enjoyed it. I I played the heck out of it when it came out. And it is a, a baseball for uh, Ken Griffey Jr. Presents Major League Baseball. And actually it is autographed by Ken Griffey Jr. himself. So, And this was 10 bucks, believe it or not. I, was, I picked it up and I was holding it. I was trying to see if it was actually a real signature. So she came up to me and said, yeah, that's uh, Ken Griffey Jr.'s signature. And I was like, how much you want for it? She said 10 bucks. So I'm like, okay, that's mine. So awesome, awesome find there. Very, very awesome. So we went back and we spent some more money. So, um, got, got some a few things here. We got uh, a Pokemon pouch here. Uh, I think that's uh, for the uh, Pokemon, um, the Johto series Pokemon, right? That's sweet, sweet. Yes, okay, yeah. All right. Um, actually, I missed something here. The first day, I picked up this uh, Pikachu wind chime. That's pretty cool. And also picked up the uh, Charmander wind chime. So, yeah. Um, got a Game Boy color pouch because those are the Johto Pokemons. So, yeah. Uh, what else? Got a couple of uh, Pokemon pens here one with a Squirtle and one with a Charmander. Uh, got another Nintendo Dogs plush. Got a, the the pug. Uh, got a Game Boy Advance Japanese game here. Uh, Hamtaro. I don't know which one this is, but it's Hamtaro. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, the couple of other games I got uh, was a sealed uh, North American copy of Oddworld, and that's what Abe's Odyssey. So I'm not keeping this. This is this is for sale to help me get back all a lot of money I spent this weekend. So because I think I can get over a bill for that. Uh, took a chance on this one here. Uh, Japanese import copy of uh, Dragon Quest IV. Four. 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 It's four. It's four. Okay, and that is sealed, and that was ten bucks. So. So. All right, it's thundering outside. All right. All right, so then my wife saw this and she had to have it. And it is a ice blue uh, Nintendo DS Lite. And this is a color that didn't come out in the US. So, and it is in mint condition. Okay. Uh, one unique item here that I've never seen before and I have they didn't know these things existed but you know you got a billion dollar industry and you got to make accessories for for every little thing so and it is a pair of video game gloves yes video game gloves made by hot gloves for the Sega Genesis okay let me uh let me demonstrate one of these for you Okay, they look like uh, like golf gloves, but the whole thumb is covered. is covered, so you can uh, you know so you you won't get calluses on your thumb. But pretty cool to find these. I have never ever seen these before in my life, and I did not know that you know they made these things. But these were a buck, so I could not pass these up. Anyway. <laughs> Also picked up this uh, this little uh, tote bag here uh, it's by Nintendo. It says fast forward. I don't remember that slogan. So. Um, okay. Did I get everything? Yeah. Okay. So one thing here. Actually, this thing here. Yeah. 
This was a uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong March of the Minis. It was a little um, water toy. Looks like it, it's a DS. Fill it with water and you play. So. so this was another unique item that we got. Um, it's not a Nintendo item, but it was a iPod Shuffle, and this was 12 bucks. But when I got it home, I had noticed um, some writing back here, and you you won't see that, but it actually says on it uh, Nintendo Software Technology, and that was the the team of the branch of Nintendo that made the Mario vs. Donkey Kong games, you know, among other games. But I thought that was pretty cool. This must have been an item that that the team bought, they give away to the team, so it's <laughs> pretty cool to have this, actually. Yeah. So, and that works pretty good. It's a uh, second generation iPod, one gig shuffle. So, but yeah, that was everything we got on Saturday. When we left on Saturday, you know, there was a lot more stuff that she had. And we were hoping to go back on Sunday and hoping that she would, uh, she would lower her prices. You know, because I think she's she told us that she was going back to Japan and she couldn't take none of this stuff with us. So, uh, we went back today and, you know, she she had everything priced the same. So, but we went ahead and got some, some cool stuff. Even with the plush theme, I got a uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong mini there. Uh, doll. What you doing, dog? Go away, dog. <laughs> Alright, got a little pouch here. Pokemon pouch here. Um, got okay. the soundtrack to um, Pokemon 2000. Um, this was pretty cool find here. It's a little uh, coin medallion Thing. for uh, Killer Instinct Gold. Oh, you, you can't see that. But that was pretty cool to find. Um, got this uh, tote bag here. So, yeah, that was a pretty cool find there. I think she gave this to us for free. I forgot to show Donkey Kong. Yeah. So DK I bought on Saturday, and he was 12 bucks, and he's nice and cuddly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Also, uh, we got this on, on Saturday. It was this um, poster here. And it had all the signatures, I guess, from the team that made the game. So, yeah, that was cool. That was 20 bucks. Actually, my wife saw this and she was like, I got that. So, that's pretty cool. That's going to be hang over the Great Wall of Games here. Which is almost full. Yeah. Um, got this pinball game for the Sega Saturn. She had a lot of Saturn games. Um, I, I had looked this... I was looking through the import games on eBay and I saw this one was selling for a little bit so I remember seeing it so I went ahead and got it. I uh, got Chrono Trigger for the Japanese PS1. Got Chrono Cross, the import. And I took a chance on these two games because I know um, one of these games uh, is kind of a hard to find game. The North American version is. And this was an Intelligent Cube. And also got Intelligent Cube Final. So took a chance on these two. They were eight bucks each. So. Uh, what else? Okay, so I also got a a ocarina with a little Triforce symbol on it, and that is has a little pouch and has a little songbook. So that's pretty cool. More plushies, more Nintendo dogs. I, I wiped her out of all her plushies basically. So. Got a golden lab here, or golden retriever, whatever it is. And got the chihuahua. Uh, what else? Uh, picked up this little uh, wrist strap here, Pikachu. Kind of cool. Alright. And we got some women's uh, dress shirts here. And that is a uh, Nintendo GameCube logo on there. And Game Boy Advance. And what else? Alright. Got another DSI. And we saw this. She had two DSIs she was selling. She had a metallic blue one that was preloaded with, um, I think, Mario, one of the Mario versus Donkey Kong games. Yeah, uh, the 
Yeah. Yeah, whatever. And uh, and this one here, and I we were going to go back today and try to talk her down on the blue one. But when we showed up, she had opened, she had this one opened. And when we saw it, what was on this DSi, we had to get it. Um, it was brand new, uh, but the seal was broken. But, um, I couldn't pass it up. And it is, it has an a engraving here. It says Nintendo Soft Software Technology. Technology. Corporation. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? But very unique item here. And yeah, they should not pass this up. So, how often do you see that? Never. Never. Unless you work for yeah. Nintendo Software. So, yeah, that was. We, we saw it. We, we gotta get it. So, we left the blue, metallic blue one behind. And there was something I saw. Yeah, I, I said, oh, I gotta have those, but I didn't buy them then. But then when we drove off, I was thinking, I gotta get those. At least I can find somebody to trade with, you know, uh, for them or keep them if I decided to. And she was only asking 20 bucks for them. But it's, it's a very, very unique item. And you probably won't be able to see the, the symbol here, but I'll try to try my best here. Um, it was a set of Sonic the Hedgehog champagne glasses. And they're from uh, Christmas 1991. It's got, I don't know if you can see that, but um, it's got Sonic uh, the Hedgehog with a little Santa hat. And on the other side, it says Happy Holidays 1991. So actually, there's two of them. I left the other one downstairs because I didn't want to trip and fall and break it on the way up the stairs. So. But pretty cool. Um, I, I, I posted a picture of this on Nintendo Age to see if anybody's seen these before. And a set of these actually sold uh, a couple years ago on in England, in the Great Britain, eBay, uh, for 94 pounds. So, which is today is like 150 bucks. So, now is that everything? Uh, one last thing here. Um, we got a pink Game Boy Advance. Uh, she wanted 15 for this, but it has some little battery co corrosion, and I think she ended up giving this, this to us for free. So, but yeah, that was it. Um, that was a uh, amazing, pretty cool. <clears throat> Second time I've been to a ex Nintendo employee's garage sale. Uh, I think she says she's gonna have another sale uh, again in October. So, definitely be going back. Hopefully, she'll drop some of her prices because she still had a lot of stuff, a lot of. Uh, Japanese import games. Uh, she had a PS1, PS2. She had a you know Japanese um, Dreamcast, a PS1, PS2. Uh, she had a Nintendo Wii um, games for the Mega CD, uh, for the Saturn. You name it. You know she had a lot of stuff. Uh, but yeah, that was it. Um, and. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time.